Gentlemen, ladies, Santa Todd here, back again. Um, decided, uh, because I posted that Genesis collection video, and um, I would gotten some comments back on it, and Shalazor had commented that uh, it was cool that Bedhead had sent me that Genesis that he threw, and uh, it dawned on me when I was commenting back to him that I never hooked the thing up at all to see if it worked when I got it. And it's been years now. <laughs> so I thought I might hook it up here. I've got, I'm using his, uh, the bit, the bit head adapter, the bit head adapter. He's got his own brand now. <laughs> and the, uh, the RF, and then I'm going to use the controller just for the hell of it. But, um, I grabbed a few random games. I grabbed a couple that have a battery backup in it. Uh, one, because I was kind of curious if my battery save games were still being held on these, and then I was going to check kind of where, uh, or what my last save file was kind of like. Then I grabbed X-Men and Hyperstone Heist just for the hell of it. So, um, let's grab it out of this bag here, because it's just the console at this point. Erg, sorry folks, bad, bad at him. But yeah, <laughs> that's the corner that that got dinged and then it has some scratch in there and then I think it's got another ding back here on that corner there from when he threw it and there's some scuffing there too but um, that's it so we're gonna set the camera down here and hopefully hook this up quickly and sorry for the gorilla style but it's just the way it is I refuse to buy a video card or something to go through my computer to record gameplay. It's just um, guerrilla style around here. So, and you know, so if you don't uh, dig it, I can totally understand. But I am low tech, so I've got it hooked up here. Plug the controller in. And I need to put the TV on the right channel, I just remembered, because otherwise I'm going to turn it on and think it doesn't work. Um, if I'm running it in through the RF, this is what I found confusing when I was working on my Nintendo. It seemed like it was a pain in the ass. following is a paid commercial program. KCWE does not warrant any claims. And it doesn't need to be complicated. For this series, okay. I've a set of menus Come which on. I hope you will try, either as individual dishes or as a complete and balanced meal. You son meal. of a bitch. Well, God freaking dang it. I'm going to have to go find an RF uh, adapter because I can't figure out how to get my own God dang TV on the right channel. It won't go right to it. It's just being a pain in the ass. So, I'm going to I'm gonna. Lovely ham hock, Miss Newton. Just lovely. Lovely ham hock. <laughs> Appetite chapter one. Um, let's go to the audio video. Let me run and get one real quick. I've got one out. It's a one you use for the model two and three, but it's AV hookup. Here's this thing. We're gonna use this. <laughs> God bless it. Nowadays, all right. I should have known. I should have known better. Or as Vincent Vega would say, you should, he should have fucking better known better. All right. So we're hooked up with the <coughs> AV cable now. Let's try this sucker. I haven't cleaned it. I think I have a Genesis cleaning kit, but I didn't clean this. We're just going to wing it. Bang it. Wait, that's from Fury Road. <laughs> uh, let's stick in uh, X-Men. Why not? Wow, 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 wow. Me putting the game in to the system and... Hitting the button. And I get no power. 
Hey, wait, there we go. Jiggle the cord a little bit. Okay, am I on the wrong... I think I'm on the wrong AV setting. <sighs> Come on. Well, folks, it will not work. <laughs> well, it started to come on, but I'm just, I'm having so many difficulties here. Where the, where the power adapter goes into it is a little bit loose. It probably needs the, uh, the little doodaddy um, pry it up. I'm going to try this again. It acted like it wanted to for a second. Okay, folks, so I was struggling with this, with the system. It wouldn't come on, or it started to come on, and it didn't come on, and blah, blah, blah. So I grabbed this other one and hooked it up and tried it, and it wasn't working either. And that's when I started smelling this smell. And um, I think what happened is this power supply is fucked. <laughs> um, it stinks. It smells like burnt electrical wiring now and it's hot to the touch um, but the thing is is Bithead didn't uh, use this he didn't do anything to the adapters and the RF thing and stuff so he probably just grabbed uh, one that he had and sent it with the console um, or it might have been the stuff that he was going to send with the other one and he just swapped the console out so it's the power supply that went bad, not the actual system. I don't think. I still haven't hooked it up. So we're getting ready to hook it up right now with a different power supply that works. And try this sucker. Um, this is the one that's working right now. There's a little bit of a buzz on the audio. But it seems like the power supply, anyway, is working okay. I'm definitely not hooking back up that other <laughs> that other power supply because it it smells fried. I mean, it it, it probably was would have caught fire if I wouldn't have unplugged it in a couple more minutes. I mean, that's how strong it smells. So uh, glad I caught it. So we're gonna unplug the AV and the and the plug in, plugging it into the contest console, so to speak, and here it is hooked up now, damage, damage, you can see, uh, cartridge, we're going to plug it in, like I said, I haven't hooked this thing up ever, and that's why I was, I was a little like, oh, when it didn't start up at first, and then it turns out I think it's this power supply, so I did not clean the system, I still said, I, I think I said that, but I did not, so I mean, maybe if it doesn't come on, it just needs to be cleaned, and it might work, like the, I have one of those, you know, things, we're going to check it, I know I'm holding out, drum roll please, I don't know drum roll, uh, I don't have a sound effect, well, maybe I'll put one in, It 
it, it is a little bit loose in there where the uh, where the uh, adapter hooks into it is a little bit loose so, let me see here um, it might be just a matter of me needing to open it up to tighten that slightly like I said I didn't clean this give it a quick blow although I don't know why that matters if I heard if anything it causes more problems let's try it again there we go audio's buzzing like hell that's the AV cord I think yeah because if I pull up on the AV cord it kind of quits making that buzzing sound so where both of the uh Actually, where both of the cords go into the machine um, is a little bit squirrely, so I might need to open it up. I guess this contest was not called Will It Work Long Term? <laughs> I unplug the AV, hold on. It has to do with the the where the connect where the connections go into the machine. Uh, it's just loose or something got jangled in there just slightly enough to where it it's making a buzzing sound and the power won't stay on unless you get the cord just right. Um, so it does work. So will it work? It does work. And probably if I did some work on it, it would work, you know, fine, just fine. But I don't know that I'm going to because I want to leave it the way it is. I don't really need it as a console. I mean, if it came down to it and I really needed a console, then yeah, I could fix it probably. But other than that, I'm just going to keep it the way it is. And I'm probably even, I don't know if I'm going to, that plug smells really bad. I don't know if I'm going to hold on to it because it's it smells like really bad burnt wiring. <laughs> so anyway, um. Uh, all right, folks, since I can't seem to not work on something, <laughs> um, and we're having trouble with the bithead Genesis, and that other Genesis's reset button didn't want to work, so I pulled them apart. I think I've got the bithead one running like gangbusters now. Um, the only thing was, was when it, this is the bithead one here. Um, when I opened it up, I took the top off. This is the inside of the top. Um, this is the the other one. That's not actually the bedhead one. But then there's this shielding that's in here normally that I unscrewed. What ended up being the issue or the culprit here was this this little doodad here that the A the power adapter runs into, the AC adapter. Um, was loose. I don't know if it came loose just over time or whether it got dinged in the in the uh, throwing or, or what. But um, if you jiggled the plug it would work but it would it would just sometimes just cut out randomly. So what I did is I took the actual board. I'm not gonna pull this one back apart but I took the actual board out of there and then unsoldered that little piece uh, completely out of the board. It was three solder points. I took it out and I cleaned it uh, and I cleaned the saw that where it was going to go back onto the board and then I put it back in there and re-soldered it with some more solder and a, a uh, soldering iron and I reattached it and it looks like everything is peachy keen now. Um, with the shielding off you get a little more of the the buzzing sound through the audio. 
Um, it seemed like once I took the top off of it and uh, and fixed that AC thing that the it cleaned up the uh, buzzing that I was having on the uh, the system, but it's starting up fine. The reset button works fine. On the other one, the reset button is a little janky. Uh, I don't know if I can fix it actually uh, because of the I don't know if it just got hit so many times it's just wore out or what. Uh, the, this is the reset thing right here and there's four solder points on it but even if I pulled it loose off the one where it's not really working I don't know that it would um, it wouldn't matter because I don't have one to put on there to replace it so but yeah this one seems to be running fine now uh, that I uh, resoldered the ace the the part where you plug the uh, the power adapter in so awesome so it's working again uh, not that it ever was not working it just um, needed a little love so um, really not much at all it just really needed to be resoldered uh, but I'm not you I you know I'm not some kind of wizard with these <laughs> machines or anything I don't know a lot about them uh, but I mean I can I could troubleshoot basic things like this thing was l wiggling when I when I open it and I could wiggle it with my finger uh, and I could tell it was loose and the power would would kind of cut in and out if I wiggled it so I figured if I just re-soldered the thing um, it would work fine and it does so so I'm getting tired of hearing the Hyperstone Heist uh, Turtles intro, so we're going to shut that off, and we're going to call it a night with this. Uh, this is kind of an epilogue to the video, uh, but this is a few hours on into the evening now, and uh, I'm going to put these two back together, and um, I, like I said, I don't know if there's anything I can do for that reset button. Um, it still does work, but you have to press down on it really hard, and I, I don't know if I can press down on it hard enough with this little... Uh, thing I might have to extend the black plastic on the bottom down about an uh, 16th of an inch or an eighth of an inch somehow um, and then um, maybe it'll it'll get a better connection when you press down on the button uh, that's the only thing I can think of so anyway uh, sign it off and uh, yeah we got her working so yay pulled another system from the from the jaws of the uh, the great video game heaven so <laughs> anyway folks thanks for coming by and we'll uh, sign off what a vid awesome <laughs> talk to you later bye Nightcrawler, one of my favorite X-Men. Oh no, Gene, save me. Okay, this works. I don't know why I'm showing you this. Pop it out. Probably because I have nostalgia for these things and I didn't... I haven't played that in forever. Uh, Shining Force. I was always curious how long the battery life of these things was supposed to be because you never can tell.
I don't know if you're getting a nice glare on the TV, I can see it. I was trying to get some more light in here. Chapter 8, Sanda. There must be sandage. Uh, we are in the final battle here, folks. I don't even know how powerful my characters are. I know there were some characters I didn't get. Uh-oh. She's got a cursed weapon. <laughs> yeah, sandage level 32. I guess that's the highest le or level I got to. This is the final fight of the game. <laughs> He's one of your guys from the very start of the game. Machine gun? Shit. She got a second turn, went, well, unless I skipped my own turn with a character. I love this game. I'm sorry I haven't played it in so long. And I started playing Shining Force 2 over again. Okay, I'm going to stop it here in a second. I was just really trying to give you all a little bit of a view of 
some of the different attacks, like the magic and stuff. Come at me, bro. <laughs> You third phase. Here we go. This is kind of interesting. It's the end fight. It's the, I mean, it's the end level, so. For some reason, like I said, the reset button's like sticking like it won't go down. I might need to do a little maintenance on both these systems. I wasn't going to mess with the head system, though. I keep saying that, but it's because I have this tendency, oh, I want to fix it if it doesn't work right. I mean, fixing it, taking it apart and cleaning it and tightening stuff down and this and that, but I know I didn't take Fantasy Star 4 out of this box, uh, this sleeve thing, um, a little bit ago, but I just took it out. Had a stupid, that's what I said, this sucker's $89.99, it had a black and white instruction booklet and a cardboard box. I was like, come on, guys. Do, 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 do. Considering I never played any of the other fantasy stars. Come on. Why is it not wanting to go past that screen? Come on. As Tom Petty would say, don't do me like that. There we go. I thought the music was really good in this game, too. I hate that it's on mono, because it's only running it through one channel. I have one of those, like, splitters, so I can put it through both channels, even though it's mono, but... Let's start. Level 54! That must be my, my big game. Or the one I beat it with. This is level 50. I wonder if it's the same game or if I started over once. I don't remember what the hell I'm doing, folks. I don't know what a lot of these do. Are we going in this hole? This is the last level I remember. So we are right at the end. Oh. I forget because there's a way to combo your character spells together to make like really big like spells. One.
it's basically just like a gassing game. The first time I came through here, I made it through just by gassing. Oh, here's where you, I think you can do it. You combine their moves together. This isn't very exciting for uh, people just watching it, I don't think, but I ended up back where I started. Oh, shit. I'm just picking random shit because I don't know what anything does. God, I haven't played this in 20 years, maybe. Seriously, I was probably like 22 or something the last time I really played this. Yeah, we ain't going that way. I must have went backwards on per on accident. Ah well, folks. I didn't think so, but I thought I'd... <laughs> That's what I was trying to get to, like, a status screen. Level 54, 82 strength, attack power 211. Attack power is only 65, he's a wizard. 183, she's pretty good. 217, he's pretty kick ass. He's android. <laughs> huh. Ah, well, folks, this was just really to test and see if that system works. And it does work in a, in the way that if you get the cords in just the right positions, it'll work fine. But you got to jiggle them and maybe even tape them down to the table behind it or whatever. Or I could take it apart and mess with it. So the Will It Work Now contest by Adam Sandum Todd. Uh, stupid pat the stupid reset button will not work on this. I'm gonna have to take the I'm taking this one apart for sure to fix that reset button, but uh, The will uh, the will it work now? Uh, it does and it doesn't uh, The console itself does if you get the wires just right in the back um, It may be damaged from when it happened uh, I haven't went back and watched the original video to see how the system came up Uh when he hooked it up so I might do that just to see I don't think there was any buzzing or anything though with it but <clears throat> I think the main problem was this power supply fucking fried um, and I don't think that was uh, that could just be age or anything so anyway folks Santa Todd here signing off this is way longer than it should have been for what it was but it is what it is and I thought it was kind of interesting so um, like I said, I don't think I'm going to try to rehab the bedhead system because it is what it is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for coming by. And that was a couple of my save games from games from 20 years ago. That, that uh, Shining Force and stuff. And they're still battery backed up on the system. So, that's pretty, or on the cart. So, that's pretty dang cool. So, anyway, thanks folks. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.